Hi everybody, Cheryl Balfour here. Sorry I couldn't join you this morning. So you've seen the introduction of my journey, telling you about I was curious about your wiki. I went to YouTube, I found two very good videos and it brings me to this point where I share some of my experiences with you. So the first thing I did was determined that I was going to take two sections, two chapters of my uh, of my work in my transport engineering subject and I was going to use that as two topics. Uh, I went to groups over here and um, I went to create groups and I did that. Oh, it's a lot to say. I did that by creating a brief first using these videos to guide me so there's some very topical words such as purpose and um, students have been assigned randomly if you continue to read through you you'll understand that I use those two videos to supplement the key and critical thinking elements and at the bottom in my brief I uh, indicate the two topics and the key words which are going to become the wiki pages so um, you'll notice I'm in student preview year so I am a student in one of the groups so that I can always see what the student sees. So to set up these groups or to start this wiki I went here to groups uh, sorry I apologize I went out of student mode obviously <laughs> and I went to groups and I said create a wiki but I first had to randomly enroll my students into groups so I named my wiki, I put my brief in there, I said I took all these ticks away and I only left the wiki as ticked. I didn't want them to be able to email or use any other other functionality because the wiki would allow them to adequately communicate. I wanted it to be available, yes, immediately. I uh, said that I want here I put in 15 groups, so on and so forth, and then I submitted. And then I came to this page, which is what you will see, this page. So there are all my wiki groups created. You'll see those groups at the topic of stabilization, those groups at the topic of pavement failure. Um, this is the group sizes. Obviously it's not perfect. It depends on the number of students in your course. And then back to the creation of the rubric. I am able to attach a, a rubric there. I went online. I found one that fits and of course in my brief I referenced it uh, 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 contextually. Um, but the five critical areas as per the second video that comes out reflect these criteria. And I like the simplicity of 4, 3, 2, or 1. Um, so this rubric typically 4 by 5 is out of 20. And this is where the group accountability comes in. It's a lesser mark in the overall scheme. It's about 20%, uh, 4 out of 20. But um, the responsibility of the wiki holistically mustn't be the greater mark. And then the individual group member gets assigned a page in the wiki. So we will look at the content, organization, and attractiveness. Because remember, you are assigning the wiki pages to some degree. They have editing rights. They, they, can, they can reformulate that. But we will have to see to what degree they use the editing rights and the accuracy and all that kind of thing. So to come back to our wiki pages. So we will submit that. And then the groups will be created. I went and renamed each one in terms of the topic. I'll take you into one. So at the present moment, the wiki brief would appear like that. And then we go into the group wiki. And the instruction was to claim a page and put their surname on it. And you can see in this one, there's been no content activity, yet, but that is fine. So. Um, one of the other students will ultimately come along and comment on whatever they see here and then this original student by the name of Hussein will then go and edit his wiki comment accordingly or his wiki content accordingly if this student has dropped a valid comment. So if I go back to the rubric it allows you to see how the students will be graded 
on the individual efforts and on how they take the comment and then of course their accuracy in their final product and then of course in the wiki itself we can go and look at the grading as the one lady spoke to in the video. So at this present time, in this week, this is week two of a two week period that they've been given to drop their content in. And I tend to think that most of them are using Word to prepare their document. And then they're going to copy and paste in using Control-V and uh, pretty it up. So um, next week is what I've allocated for them to comment on the colleagues work, including myself as a commentator and then I will mark it in week four um, and then ask them to complete a survey on the experience and um, I can clearly see I'll be making up a follow up chapter um, just to report back on my findings so thank you very much for your time and I hope you have a wonderful day